Fox Brothers Will Nunley is live this morning in Ponce as folks are waking up to another day of cleanup. But Will, something that's making this very challenging is that you guys still have rain coming down. We do, and a moment of sun uh, here behind me, but that's going to quickly change because we seem to have wave and wave of rain. That does just hamper the recovery efforts. You were talking about the power grid. We have a little bit of progress to pass along from Luma Energy, the company that manages uh, the power operation here. They say that as of about 1.30 this morning, they were able to bring about 250,000 customers back online, and that's an important improvement. Uh, and in times like this, they tend to prioritize things like hospitals, medical centers, correctional facilities, things where there are a lot of people housed in immediate need um, to get the power back online if they don't have generator power available. And so that's likely the scenario here is they're trying to bring back some of the larger, um, you know, more immediate emergency type customers and then they start to go out to some of these areas, uh, rural areas that uh, are a little bit harder to get to. And that's going to be quite a task. As we have been out exploring, not only here in Ponce, but as you start to get out into the mountainous areas, there are roads that are no longer there or they're just covered in mud and it's going to take some time and some machinery to clear the way for those electric crews to even get in there. And that is part of the delicate uh, recovery and, and uh, you know research operation that happened, search I should say, operation that happened over Overnight, with crews just trying to make sure that people are accounted for. Uh, meanwhile, we had thousands of people spending last night in shelters. We understand more than 128 shelters are set up across the island that will feed and house people uh, as long as they need until more assistance arrives uh, or they're able to return to their homes. But that could be, again, a long road ahead. We have had scenes of entire neighborhoods underwater, homes washed away off the side of the mountain. And so this is not something that's going to be a fast, easy recovery. And of course, uh, unbelievable to talk about the strengthening of the storm, how it's now going to continue to impact uh, more areas when we've seen such devastation here. A long road ahead again for Puerto Rico. Back to you. And Will, just to really quickly before you go there, I know that you've had a chance to talk to a few people on the ground. Uh, are they optimistic about the days to come or is this more, uh, are they more disappointed with what's happened here so far? I asked that specific question, Jason, to some people here yesterday, and the answer was this process can be managed. They knew this was coming. The concern is this other tropical wave. Where is it going to go? Is it going to affect Puerto Rico? Are you going to have yet again more impacts back to back to back like this? That's their concern mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, how much more is this season going to bring? And if this is it, then they can focus on rebuilding recovery now. But if they have to stop in the middle of this recovery effort to prepare for yet another one, I think uh, that you're going to see a little bit more desperation, a whole lot more anxiety uh, take place here on the island if it's just wave after wave. So something to watch. All right. Will Nunley live for us this morning in Ponce, Puerto Rico. Thank you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.